Hello buddies, I'm back to business after a short break, uh, so I didn't have time to play Path of Exile and after that the Diablo released and I just decided not to waste time and as you can see I'm experimenting with this annihilation cannon uh, I don't know <laughs> how many shots per second uh, we have but we are pretty tanky and only one shots with crits or some powerful shots of maybe pinnacle bosses or 100% crucible can kill us but we can make ourselves even more tanky and I'll uh, show you later how we can do this and uh, the most of the thing is in the our uh, shield and our helmet and as you can see we can pretty uh, fight a fully juiced map uh, with triple beyond delirium and uh, sextant and um, uh, other scarab modifiers fighting the beyond boss and the causes uh, simultaneously and we are just trying to avoid because uh, it's most powerful uh, shot and uh, we are done here so nothing even can hurt us because while we are leeching we uh, have uh, our regeneration because we get um, our life recovered while taking chaos damage due to the new amulet and we have a bunch of life gain on hit and some physical taken as fire damage and uh, we can also increase that amount of physical damage taken as fire through the corrupted implicits on our um, shield and also we can get a better helmet and I have only 30 chaos devoters devotion um, so yeah it's a pretty well-rounded build which can do almost any content except maybe uber bosses but it can do uber bosses if you know the mechanics of them because uh, we need to avoid some powerful shots powerful shots because uh, we have only 2000 uh, life uh, unreserved with petrified blood but we can also have a flask for 25 divine uh, just to improve our survivability but that's no need in it it's a very fun mapper and, uh, you can uh, farm very uh, quickly with this speedster and uh, the amount of speed and uh, good survivability good every survivability allows us uh, to make our smooth runs and <laughs> this is uh the most uh, ridiculous uh, uber elder fight i've ever had just because i thought here that the fight was over but it wasn't and i got one shot at in the end so let's get down to our build and we're here currently at level 90 we are dead eye we use cover lash and it's pure chaos damage hits what are we going to start with? So, we are dead eye, we use chain as we use the chain type Cobra Lash uh, damage scaling build. Uh, we use far shot, but you can skip far shot and uh, use endless munitions for two additional projectiles uh, for additional clear speed. And then you need to take point blank. And if you take point blank, you swap long shot for edges and animosity for increasing damage for the um, targets that are near us and then if we uh, do this we uh, swap repeater for the um, increased damage on nearby enemies on our jewels and also uh, we uh, stay uh, with follow through which uh, give us 15% um, increased damage with hits for each remaining chain and we have four of these here and for large cluster jewels uh, we have um, fennel blades but you can skip fennel blades for additional uh, projectiles if we take uh, endless munitions and just uh, saving our um, skill points so it's all up to you. I prefer more safe um, 
archetype of the build with flash shot when we are far from the enemy and just trying to hit him. Uh, and also we use focal point and gather winds for uh, increasing our attack speed and uh, significantly increasing our damage. We also use uh, Forbidden Flash and Forbidden Flame for nature's reprisal from the Pathfinder, which allows us to uh, apply Wither on enemies and the increased effect of Withered. Um, the list of the tree is just pretty simple. We are trying to find Chaos damage, increased physical damage, increased attack speed, uh, lots of life, some um, new cluster with the tax fire and additional projectile, uh, some evasion and life, some mark improvements for the effect of our sniper's mark, and as we are a non-crit build, we use the precise technique, and that's why we need our uh, total um, amount of accuracy higher than our life pool, so we have around 4.5 as uh, I can see 4.2 thousand uh, accuracy and uh, we are good with it. Um, the jewel that we are using, the timeless jewel, is tempered by war, it's little pride by Rakiata and we are trying to uh, take as much um, physical damage from hits taken as fire. Um, and um, it can be uh, also calculated by the uh, time of jail calculator uh, I'll provide the link in the description and uh, there are many variants uh, of uh, how many uh, nodes of uh, physical taken as fire uh, I think we can have up to five but all depends on your budget because we're trying to convert as much physical damage um, to fire uh, to be more tanky and the tempered by war is used because we are using Mahut Zotl Machination and it gives us the Corrupted Soul, Divine Flesh, Eternal Youth, Everlasting Sacrifice, Immortal Ambition and Wild Pact. And um, we are interested here in Divine Flesh and with the um, Tempered by War we don't need any Cold or Lightning Resistance because we don't take Cold and Lightning damage, it's converted either to Chaos or to uh, fire damage, so we need to do something with our physical damage and to make our chaos and fire resistance higher. And um, how do we do this? Uh, we have Everlasting Sacrifice. It's said that we cannot regenerate or recharge energy shield and uh, it starts on zero, but we can life gain on hit, um, energy shield or leech it. Uh, so when it comes um, from zero to the maximum amount of energy shield, we sacrifice all this energy shield and we get plus five to all our resistances and it's to our fire resistance and our chaos resistance. And with the uh, corrupted, so oh, sorry, with the divine flesh, we have additional plus five to uh, chaos resistance and uh, that's why we have 79 fire resistance and 80 chaos resistance. And with Everlasting Sacrifice, we get plus 5, so we have 84 and 85. What about our uh, life sustain? Uh, we have a claw with life gain on hit, but we don't really need it, because we have our life leech from the node, which provides us uh, the Tempered by War, but if you don't have it, you can just uh, take this life leech, and uh, while we are leeching, we uh, have our taking Chaos damage over time, healing us and what does it mean? When we leech, uh, all chaos damage over time started, starts uh, healing us. And with the Divine Flesh, all elemental damage taken um, heals us in the amount uh, that uh, is damaging us because we have our fire and chaos resistance almost equal. And with leech and life gain on heat, which we will have additional amounts of uh, life gain on hit from here, with the claw mastery, with uh, gaining 25 life per enemy hit with main hand claw attacks, and uh, uh, with the implicit of the imperial claw, the survivability and the sustain of life is outstanding. Another thing is uh, I have the tainted pack corruption with additional curse. It's not that expensive, but if you cannot get it, you need to or uh, allocate Whispers of Doom uh, or 
but you will lack the Heart of Darkness and its uh, great uh, uh, increase of uh, Chaos damage. Also, you can just uh, use uh, uh, another ring uh, with this implicit, or just Diadress ring, uh, which has the. You can apply an additional curse. Um, we use the Imperial Claw, but you can, we can use also Void Fangs. Uh, the Void Fang has the Chaos Damage to attacks uh, in the implicit, and uh, we. It's the cheapest um, version of how you can craft such a claw because, as you can see, it's a very small amount of damage, but uh, it's, it, even it is enough. Um, we just want our claw with the fractured attack speed. The base is around one divine. Then we spam the definite essence of envy, uh, which. Uh, gives us uh, chaos damage to attacks and trying to roll increased physical damage and after that we have uh, up to three crafted modifiers with a chance to deal double damage, uh, adding physical damage or whatever you want to maximize your damage and we don't need critical strike chains because uh, we use the precise technique and um, it makes our crafting uh, even cheaper. Um, as I've said, Mahogzodl Machination with Imperial Claw and the source of our damage is also the Covenant, uh, our body armor, which has uh, the incredible amount of added Chaos damage because it's to level 29 added Chaos damage. Um, and uh, for the links, we have Divergent Cobra Lash, better you have level 21, but I didn't want to waste um, that much currency on it, it's even enough. Uh, we use Life Tap support. Uh, because we cannot sustain our mana uh, in such a uh, setup. And all, all our links have life tap, that's why we can uh, reserve our mana till zero and we use our energy shield for the everlasting sacrifice here. It's the mechanics of the shield. Um, Awakened Void Manipulation, uh, Cruelty, uh, Energy Leech uh, and uh, Wild Toxins because uh, we apply poisons on enemies and we have the increase um, of uh, hits while the enemy is poisoned and you better have the well toxins level 21 even without the quality because um, level 21 on the contrary of the level 20 gives us 5% more damage and it's huge. Uh, for our energy shield sustain uh, we have the Phenomenus Spinnerets uh, it gives us some chaos resistance, but it also gives us additional spider web on our aspect of the spider and gaining energy shield for maintaining our energy shield for the everlasting sacrifice because just the energy sh shield uh, leech is not enough. We also use darkness enthroned for effect of our um, these gels on which we have chance to avoid bleeding uh, and uh, some offensive or defensive modifiers uh, as you wish. And uh, the main thing is for the gloves we need uh, Syrian Exact and um, Eternal Worlds Implicits uh, with the maximized physical damage converted to Chaos. Uh, it's the perfect and you'll need to use Orb of Conflict on this uh, to get uh, this conversion because our Cobra Lash has only 60% physical damage converted to Chaos and with additional 35 we have 95 and that's enough. Uh, we can go this path to these clusters on the tree to get 40% um, physical damage converted to Chaos or we can waste our points here but uh, wasting five points on just additional five percent conversion I don't think it's worth of it so just take basic glass with life uh, attack speed accuracy rating craft aspect of the spider in the managery and uh, just play uh, some time with the implicit using orb of conflict they are not that expensive so the overall uh, spending on this build was around 10 or 11 divines I don't remember and uh, the rings are basic just to cap our fire and chaos resistance and our strength and intelligence requirements and uh, uh, the rings themselves were very cheap but I just uh, wasted some currency on um, the catalyst for our for improving our resistances. 
for the flasks, uh, I use Quicksilver flask Rodgut, uh, which combines the Quicksilver flask and some um, onslaught, uh, consuming our frenzy charges. But we have uh, uh, the great um, sustain of our frenzy charges because we use Blood Rage uh, while mapping, and also we gain in frenzy charges when we hit the marked enemy. That's why we always have onslaught and our frenzy charges up. Also, for some um, evasion purposes. I use Jade Flask uh, with um, reducing our fire damage taken and uh, increasing at attack speed with our Ruby Flask uh, and also another Ruby Flask, Dying Sun. Um, so we are almost up time with um, our less fire damage taken. And uh, here I'm using Divine Life Flask. We are immune to corrupted blood and bleeding because of the implicit on our. Uh, jewels and uh, darkness enthroned uh, jewels here but uh, you also can use the forbidden taste and it's synergizes uh, very good with the tainted pact because uh, using the forbidden taste uh, uh, we take chaos damage over time which also heals us and um, we use the golden rule that's why the poisons we inflict are reflected to us and we're also taking chaos damage over time while uh, hitting enemies and uh, we starting to leech and it uh, allows us to heal a significant amount of time but take care of three things in this build um, you accidentally apply too many stacks of poison on of poison on you uh, your leech can uh, stop at some time and uh, the poisons will be still on you and we apply uh, such a great amount of poison uh, the damage with poison that it can instantly kill us so uh, if you are not um, confident with the battle you are now just uh, take this away for this battle um, the second one is the huge hits, but we can uh, even be more tanky with the corruption on the shield with taken as fire or taken as chaos damage, physical taken as fire, physical taken as chaos, and just swap devotees devotion because I just grabbed the first Cobra Lash chain three additional times um, helmet, which I could get, but better take uh, the base with uh, um, physical taken as fire um, crafted with some essences for some mana reservation and get the implicit with uh, physical damage taken as fire and you will be you will have the great survivability and in combination with the watch's eye with physical damage taken as fire by purity of elements and fees taken as fire with purity of fire uh, we get a good amount of fees taken as fire in our build which synergizes with the rabbi flask um so what's for the links we use blood rage uh ancestral protector precision with uh precision with arrogance uh, and also aspect of the spider is connected to arrogance because it's the explicit modifier that's why we reserve some our life that's why our life leech doesn't um uh, stop when it gets to this level because uh, this thing is how uh, petrified blood works it's the mechanic of the skill so it allows us for the uh, life leech not stopping at um, full life which is not really full um, another arrows are petrified blood purity of fire purity of elements just purity of element just for these purposes of watch si uh because um we don't care about ignite uh because of the tainted pact or oh, we could switch for the grace but uh purity of element just provide us some uh resistances that we need and uh also this additional 10 to 12 percent fees taken as fire wheeling blades faster attacks life tap despair also everything for the despair you can also uh, have the um, corruption on your gloves maybe despair on heat but I don't care about it I just um, self cast despair on big bosses and forgetting about uh, anything because I don't need it while mapping um, custom death portal for some 
ridiculous situations. Steel skin, just our additional guard skill with mark on hit, sniper's mark. Uh, again, left tap because we can sustain mana for this, and uh, flame dash is also um, linked to left tap because we cannot um, avoid some obstacles only using wheel and blades. We need some kind of the movement skill uh, which blinks. I think that's enough for today. Enjoy. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments, likes, and and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.